Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So in this video, I wanna share with you how you can optimize your calisthenics or workouts to give you the best fat loss that you can possibly get from them. So if you want to find out fully how you can do that, then make sure that you listen to this whole entire video. So it's very, very simple as to how you can modify your already pre-existing calisthenics workouts or new ones that you're gonna be creating in the future or even workouts that you learn from me on this YouTube channel in various calisthenics workout videos that I make and share with you on here. So the type of training that you wanna do with your calisthenics workouts to modify them to give you the best fat loss is doing specific circuit training. If you don't know what it is, I'm gonna to explain to you fully in this video. So with whatever calisthenics workout that you're doing, with each exercise and where you rest in between each exercise, you wanna rest for only around 15 seconds. And yes, this is going to be very, very intense. If you're someone that is a very new to calisthenics, you may find with your workout the resting 15 seconds between each one that you cannot actually fully finish your whole calisthenics workout routine. So if you're trying to rest for 15 seconds in between and you cannot finish all the different exercises and sets that you're meant to be doing with your calisthenics workout routine, then what you do is increase the amount of time that you're resting for. And then over time, as your sports performance goes up and your strength over time, then you can begin to lower the rest interval even more. So if you cannot do this, with 15 seconds rest in between. Don't worry, don't beat yourself up. You will get there. So just keep training consistently, do the best that you can do, and then you can go in the direction over time of training with this circuit training for resting for only around 15 seconds so you can get the best fat loss benefits. And the reason why this is the best way to train with calisthenics for fat loss is very, very simple. For obvious reasons, it's gonna make your heart rate way higher for a longer period of time in comparison to other different training methods such as hypotrophy training, which I do on a regular basis, which is a type of training where I rest for around a minute, which optimizes strength and muscle gains. And yes, the type of way I'm training is gonna give me some fat loss benefits, but if I was trying to optimize fat loss or working with someone that wants to optimize fat loss, then I would be getting them to do the circuit training instead. Because as I mentioned a short while ago, with the circuit training, your heart rate is gonna be higher for a longer period of time. And the higher your heart rate is, the higher your body temperature is gonna be, and also, the amount of calories your body is going to be burning is way, way more. And if you are then combining this with intermittent fasting where you are training in the fasted state, the benefits for fat loss with calisthenics and doing the circuit training calisthenics whilst in that fasted state is gonna give you the best, quickest fat loss benefits that you can get. So if you wanna do those two combined and you can train in the fasted state, then I would highly recommend that. And if you're someone that has no clue about intermittent fasting, I'm gonna put a link to a video I made quite some time ago that talks about how to do intermittent fasting for serious weight loss. And you can learn all the different information that you need to on this subject. If you're someone that wants to get into this and then combine it with your calisthenics workouts, as I mentioned, to optimize your fat loss benefit. And something I wanna add, if you're someone that is a beginner, when you are doing your first round of exercises, yes, rest 15 seconds between each exercise, and then when you get to the end of all of the exercises and you're on the last exercise for that round that you're currently doing, you may wanna rest for around two minutes before doing the second round, and if there's a third round, fourth round, or fifth round, depending on how many rounds that you're doing, because it could just be way too intense for you, and you could end up feeling sick, and you may feel lightheaded, and it could just be way, way too intense for you. But as you get to a level where I am with my sports performance, and I've trained for a very long time, can do what I've done many times, where I do three rounds of exercises, for example, which has a total of six exercises, so six, 12, 18, 
different times I'm doing the exercises in total. And I would only rest for 15 seconds in between each exercise and not have a two minute break between each round. And for obvious reasons, that way of training that I just mentioned about having that two minute break between each round is gonna give you the best fat loss benefits. But for a lot of people that's gonna be way too hard and you also need to be careful of not frying a nervous system and burning out your adrenal glands. It's all about going hard and training consistently and training in a way to optimize fat loss. But if you cannot sustain the way that you are training, then you're not gonna be able to train consistently and train as hard as you possibly can. So then you're not gonna get the best fat loss benefits. And that can also mess up your hormone production as well, which when you're messing up hormone production, that can have a negative effect on optimizing your fat loss benefits that you're looking to gain. So push yourself with this type of training, but don't go and destroy your body. Be very, very mindful around this. And this is what a lot of people do with a lot of different training out there, whether it's high intensity interval training or circuit training or types of training methods known as Insanity or P90X, where they are just going absolutely full out on a regular basis and then they just burn themselves out completely. And then a lot of time people will end up stop doing the training that they're doing because they cannot just do them at all because they've just done too much hard training for too long that their body is not used to. And one other bit of important information that you need to know alongside the circuit training, I would recommend when doing each exercise that you do more reps with a faster momentum, but make sure that you're doing each calisthenics exercise with perfect form. And if you're someone that's wondering, well, how many reps should I be doing? Yes, you're saying I should do more reps. So what I would recommend that with each exercise that you do around 12 to 24 reps per exercise. You, a lot of the time, would want to be above 16 reps, but the minimum would be 12 reps. And when I say you want to be doing the reps fast, you don't want to be like this as fast as you can. Just do like a relatively fast speed. <laughs> don't be going absolutely crazy, like I said, like this. And one last thing I'd like to mention, with this type of training, yes, it's going to help optimize fat loss, but it's also going to help optimize your endurance and stamina. So over time, you'll be able to find that you will need to increase the intensity of the workout. So make the exercises in the workout that you're doing way, way more intense for where you are at with your own sports performance and calisthenics training. And with this training to optimize fat loss, it's also gonna help you gain the greatest benefits for increasing your endurance as well. And yes, it's also gonna increase your strength and muscle mass, but with the strength and muscle mass, if those are your goals, I would not recommend training in this way. But if you're someone that's wanting to lose fat and build strength, I would recommend this type of circuit training. And then once you get down to around a body fat percentage that you want, then you want to start switching up your training in a way to maximize muscle growth and strength. That's something for you to be aware of. And for me, over time with my own journey, my workouts and the way that I train is always changing over time because we need to be modifying the way that we work out when our body starts to become more adapted and used to the way that we're training. So if you're doing the same type of training over and over and over again in the same workouts, the same exercises, you're gonna to start to plateau. So yeah, you really wanna be making your body guessing what is going to happen next with all these different types of things that you can do to switch up things to give you the greatest benefits that you're looking to gain from the workouts you're doing. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think wants to learn about how they can optimize their calisthenics workout routines to give them the greatest fat loss benefits possible. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on a regular basis in regards to calisthenics and training with calisthenics. I also will have new videos in the future coming out on calisthenics workout and progression videos, intermittent fasting, informational videos, what I eat and do in a day videos. 
and many other different videos to teach you the information to go in the direction of achieving the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube is not gonna notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.